And, um, and that's when I found him where he was like, yo, he was going hard for the Lord, right? And then, like, there was this pivot. I don't listen to, I don't listen to him anymore, and that's not a judgment on him because I don't, you know, whatever, right? But, like, he made this pivot where people just didn't like it, and they dragged mm. him. They, they were dragging him. They did. It was really ugly. Yeah, and, it, and it's sad because I'm like, yo, like, what if, like, he actually still is following Jesus, but, like, he's just trying to be creative and, and do it in a different way? By the church. But, you know? Yeah, and, and, like, uh. It's crazy. We had we had uh we had Rockstar JT on um uh, on the Sinners Only podcast of uh like, like a few months ago, and he was talking about that where like he feels like he's getting a lot of or he was getting a lot of backlash just for how he's presenting his music and, and stuff like that. Um, and I was like, yo, like for 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 people that do appreciate the diversity and the different different the uh, different things within the church, like when it comes to something that we don't like, immediately we're like, yo, like dead it right now. Yeah, and it, and it's sad. I mean, it's just like, yo, do we really want like yo to be represented by you know the outside world, you know, by jumping on people and seeing like, oh, why would we want to be about uh, like be about this, right? You have like a a person that might be coming out the music scene, they're really talented, but then like they're trying to figure out how do they steward it well. But then when they make something that's like not like suiting to our ears, it's like, oh, that you are a heretic, you are a this, you are a that, and it's like, come on, you you got it, you got to give grace, bro. You got it, you, you got to, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 pretty weird. Um, and one thing that stuck out to me that a lot of people have said, I think, in some of those interviews that people, you know, just commentary about it, um, and just talking to my friends, they sometimes, you know, be put on a pedestal and here's the thing especially with music that has to do with god or is christian mm -hmm. we're not the bible we yeah. are not ever going to be the bible we are not the complete story of jesus mm -hmm. the bible got it has the complete story of jesus it has the salvation it has redemption if you're looking for that in our in music only then that there's the problem because you're going to hold these people to a pedestal and and to an ideal that they can never complete for you they're never mm -hmm. going to make you happy they're never going to be able to say just the right things to you know feed your soul your soul it needs to be fed by the word of god and that's yeah. what the art is supposed to do to point you to the word of god and even if it doesn't just go on your way and find the stuff that points you to god and mm -hmm. find the word of god <laughs> yeah 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 i don't know why it's such a big deal i and i don't i don't either and this is like i'm noticing and you know as um you know, as YouTube and content creation just blows up and Christian content creation just blows up, like I'm starting, I, I'm, I'm starting to see a lot of that where it's like people are, are trying to hold people accountable. And like, you know, for some things it's for the right reasons, right? It's like, if you're wild and like, okay, you, you need to be called out online or some people need to just kind of try to correct you, whatever, right? For sure, um, for sure. But then there's just some things where it's like, it could be, it's like kind of nuanced and it's just like, you know, for the, over the smallest things, like people get, Dragged right, the cop YouTube comment sections are ruthless. TikTok comment sections might be the second, might be second to that. Um, but they're but they're ruthless, right? And, and I think being also just trying to be in the content creation space, right? And and anime, anime content creation is just, this is a whole different ballgame. I'm trying to figure that out because anime and Christian content you mix oh. those, it's even. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, it's gonna start a fire. It might burn everything down, but you know, we're here, you know, we were trying to, we're trying to figure it out, but it's just like. You, like when you have people that are like when I mean, they get a lot of like you know inspiration from you and they get like uh, motivation from you and stuff like that they tend to hold you to a higher standard which i guess for the most part that it, you know it is um it's valid it's a valid reason right but then it feels like a lot of pressure for the for the creator to you know always feel like they have to get everything right when i feel like not i don't feel like god gives us more grace, like, like god gives us more grace than like it feels like some people actually do. So I want to ask you this question: What, what, what is it like balancing, like you know, being a Christian and holding your faith, and also like being in community with people, and just like, and also doing music and doing and doing art, and just also having the creative freedom to be able to, you know, make what you want to make. Like, what is that? What is that like for you? Well, step number one, and as you may know, and other people who know me know, I don't care what people think about me. <laughs> I care about what God thinks about me. I am going to do what God has called me to do. 